Welcome to another episode of Main Condition. I'm Antonieta Collins. Pro Football Hall of Famer Rod Woodson has decided to auction off a large part of his memorabilia collection. And here to talk more about it is SCP Auction spokesman Terry Melia, whose company is handling the auction. Terry, thanks for joining us. What made Rod decide to part with the memorabilia? It's good to be here, Tony. Um, it's never easy for an athlete to auction off his uh, personal memorabilia, and Rod's case was certainly no exception. Uh, here's a guy who had a long and distinguished career in the NFL, uh, 17 seasons in all, and was really a fan favorite at every stop. Um, he last played with the Raiders in '03, so it's been more than a decade since he's retired, and now was evidently the right time for him to make this move. Um, just wanted to share with you guys, I had the chance recently to accompany uh, SCP Auctions President David Kohler up to Rod's home in Northern California, where we secured his collection. And uh, Rod certainly struck me as a family-oriented guy who did not make this decision unilaterally. Um, and we reminisced about several of his career milestones, so it was really like taking a trip down memory lane with Rod. So now I know he's just thrilled uh, for the opportunity to share these career mementos with the fans and collectors who uh, supported him through all those years. So, Terry, which items from the collection are you expecting to have the most bidding interest? Based on uh, previous football auctions conducted by SCP Auctions, we definitely expect uh, there to be a lot of interest in his two AFC championship rings, uh, the one from 95 with the Steelers and the 2002 ring with the Raiders, and, of course, his uh, 2009 NFL Hall of Fame induction ring. Uh, these, uh, these beauties always generate a lot of interest from collectors. Uh, but we also have several MVP awards that Rod earned during his uh, days at Purdue, uh, with his team MVP award uh, with the Steelers to his NFL Defensive Player of the Year award in 1993. So there's definitely plenty of opportunity uh, for collectors to jump in and start bidding. Terry, any memorabilia from his collection that he decided to hold on to? You know, as a matter of fact, there is, uh, and there was a significant item he decided to hold on to. Uh, with the help of his family, uh, he decided to hold back on his 2000 Super Bowl championship ring, uh, the one that he won as the starting uh, free safety with the Ravens when they beat up the New York Giants 34-7. Uh, it obviously remains a pretty important personal item of Rod's that uh, came off the table very early during the negotiation process. All right, before we let you go, the big question. What are some of the prices that you're expecting for his memorabilia? Again, based on uh, past results, we anticipate uh, the Hall of Fame ring to go for as much as $40,000. And the uh, two AFC title rings are probably not that far behind uh, in the thirty dollars to $35,000 range apiece. Um, we also have lots of Rod's uh, professional game use jerseys and helmets, of course as well as many early items and awards uh, that go back literally to his playing days at Schneider High School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. That was uh, the early 80s, uh, as well as, of course, some of his pieces from his days with the Purdue Boilermakers. So uh, anything can happen, you know, when these pieces go up for auction. So we'll just have to see how things unfold uh, starting on April 8th at scpauctions.com. We'll certainly keep an eye out to see what it goes for. Terry, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Antonina. It was great to be here. The auction begins, as Terry mentioned, April 8th and concludes on April 25th. And that's going to do it for this edition of Mint Condition. For more hobby news, make sure to check us out on Facebook.com slash ESPN Mint Condition and on Twitter at ESPN Mint C-O-N-D-I-T. For Terry Melia, I'm Antonita Collins. We'll see you next time.